Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. I want to show you a video from uh, New Market, which is in the greater Toronto area. Is that technically the GTA? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, you're, so what's that, about 45 minutes out of the city, is that right? Let's just say it's part of the greater Toronto area. It's been a while since I've been up there. Um, so there's this mall there called Upper Canada Mall, whatever, it's just a mall. And I want to show you uh, two videos. Let's start with the one from Six Buzz. Can we do that? So this is a, a video. I'm going to show you two videos. Then I'm going to read a story to you. And then I'm going to unpack it a bit. So really, I'm giving you a sneak preview of my show tonight. I follow Six Buzz. I like it. I like the Jamaican slang. Man diem, girl diem, you know. Uh, I like it. I like the, you know, makes me feel a lot hipper than I am. And uh, they're fairly politically neutral. You know, I like that about them. That's rare. And they're fun and they're quick. And occasionally they even have rebel stuff on there. Six Buzz. It's just an Instagram account, a Twitter account. The six refers to the 416. It's one of Toronto's nicknames. So I, I'm on Six Buzz, as I often am. You know, they, they love Drake. They're crazy about Drake. I, I, I've had my full of Drake. Um, I might do a diss track later on. But um, I'm kidding. I, I, I have no beef with them. I just, you know, after a certain while, there's a little bit of Drake fatigue that sits, sets in. Um, so I was on Six Buzz, as I often am, and uh, I see this video. So this is by the passerby, the Justin, that one. Um, and um, so this is in the mall in Newmarket, Ontario. Take a look and take a listen. Um, so a little bit of excitement there. Now, the way that Six Buzz described that is a fella was tackled for not wearing a mask. So that's the first thing I saw. Let me just say a few things. So this was introduced to me and the world as a guy not wearing a mask in a mall. So my first reaction was, oh, good. For his, for his health, for his health and safety, let's tackle him and smash him to the ground. Because that's healthy. Um, can I point out a few things? He was not fighting with them, was he? He was just saying, get the F off me, get the F off me, right? He must have said that ten times. You didn't see him smash anyone, you didn't see him punch anyone, you didn't see him throw them off of him, maybe he couldn't, but you didn't see any of that, did you? Because it didn't happen. Um, he swore... Uh, forgive a fella for swearing. 
you saw a bunch of security. Several of them, I think, were in, in blue-gray shirts. And then you had the guy in the yellow jacket who walked towards the camera at the end. I note that he himself did not have his mask on. Did you notice that? The guy in the yellow jacket who walked towards the camera. And then um, near the end there, police, with the word police on them, did actually attend. And then that's when the security guards did, in fact, get off him. Um, yeah, so here's the guy in the yellow. You'll notice he does not have a mask on his face. Well, watch that guy again as he walks out. So just give it a second. I'm, I'm making a point here. Um, so that guy's got a mask, but that guy does not have a mask. See that? No mask. And you see there were some real police there. So <clears throat> I erroneously tweeted on the weekend that the police stomped, and the police did not. The private security did. Uh, so that's all I knew at first. And my reaction was, wow, um, <laughs> guy doesn't wear a mask. They stomped him. <clears throat> then, I, then I heard, well, maybe he was belligerent. And I thought, well, maybe. And then uh, York Region, there's a local newspaper there. I forget what it's called. Do you have that newspaper? It's just called York, YorkRegion.com. Um, <clears throat> they, they uh, yeah, there it is. Thanks very much. Scroll down a tiny bit. Video. Man says racial profiling preceded altercation with guards at Newmarket's Upper Canada Mall. Mall says man was belligerent and police say charges against him warranted. Uh, a pickering man tackled by security guards at Upper Canada Mall is facing charges in an incident where he says he was racially profiled. 100% I feel I was racially profiled Joshua Walker, who is black, said the afternoon of December 11th, moments after he was charged by York Regional Police. But mall spokesperson Adrian Simich said Walker had been belligerent leading up to the altercation with security guards and York Regional Police Constable Laura Nicole said a review of all video taken indicates the charges are warranted. Walker has been charged under the criminal code with assault. Really? I thought he was assaulted. With intent to resist arrest. Really? I didn't see that. And under the Trespass to Property Act with engage in prohibited activity on premises, Nicole said. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's watch the video because they've got it embedded here. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at this video. Can you pump that up? <laughs> okay. No, you got the three fucking stooges here. <laughs> curly, there's Curly. Maybe click on the fucking Curly. Larry. Yeah. So now... Yeah, Larry, I'm fucking more yeah. over there. Make it full screen if you like, and just pause it right away. When you got full screen, is it, yeah. So pause it there. So you, you can see the man in question on the left. And what do you notice about him? He has a mask on. Do you see that? So rewind it, and let's play it from the beginning. This is a uh, nice no, you got the clip. Three fucking stooges here. <laughs> curly, there's Curly. I'm fucking Curly. Larry, I'm fucking more over there. Don't put your hands on me, bro. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me, bro. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Don't put your hands on me. You cannot put your hands on him! What are you doing, bro? Stop! What are you talking about? We're leaving! You're not leaving. Yes, we are! Our exit's right straight! Through those doors like I told you! Are you kidding me? Our exit's right there! Our exit's right there! Get the fuck off me! You cannot do that! Hello! Our exit is right there! Get the fuck off me! Are you good? Get the fuck off me! Stop resisting, man! Get the fuck okay, off but me. you didn't have to put your hands on him! Put your hands on us! No, he did not! I have it all on recording, you dumb shit! No, he was not! We were leaving! No, you weren't. Our exit's right there! You're stopping. Well, how are we stopping? We're here! Get back! Get back! Holy shit, I'm pregnant! This is crazy! Holy shit. Did she say she was pregnant? 
Did I hear that in the end then? So, um, let me tell you what you saw there. I mean, you saw it for yourself, but let me highlight a few things in case they escaped your focus. As I pointed out right at the beginning, he was wearing a mask. In fact, he was wearing it over his nose. And you saw, briefly, his girlfriend, uh, apparently pregnant with his child. She was wearing a mask, too. So these were not anti-maskers, so to speak. They were being frog-marched out of the mall, and they were walking at a reasonable pace. They weren't running, but they weren't dawdling either. Um, um, he, he's making fun of them. He's calling them Larry, Curly, and Moe. That's a reference to the Three Stooges. All right, is that polite? Not particularly, but it's not really mean. Of all the insults you could make, that's a pretty, pretty gentle insult. Uh, he used the word F, the F word again. You know, I'm sure those uh, security cards have heard that word before. Uh, they're not minor children of tender years. So he was walking out of the mall with his wife, the girlfriend, and he was taking a selfie video, and he was calling them Larry Curly and Mom. But was he not walking out at a reasonable walking pace? He was indeed. And the, so this video ends where the first video we saw begins. And this guy was saying, don't, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. He said it three times. But he didn't stop walking. At least that's what the video shows. And then you hear one of the security say, you're under arrest. Really? Do security guards have the power to arrest people? Well, no greater power than you and I do. You and I do have some power to arrest people. It's called a citizen's arrest. It's a more truncated and limited and restricted power than a police officer does. For example, a security guard can arrest someone that they actually observe shoplifting. But there's a lot of conditions. You have to observe the shoplifting happening. It has to actually be shoplifted. If they just put it in their jacket pocket while they go to a cashier, hasn't been shoplifted yet. A lot of rules on that. It's tough being a security guard. Um, but there are a lot of rules. You have to be licensed. You have to follow the rules. It is the power of a security guard to eject someone from a mall for any reason or no reason. Um, put up the York Region report. I want to tell you what the reason was because they seem to have have it. Um, the incident began on December 9th around 4.30 p.m. Walker, a corporal in the Queen's Own Rifles Reserves Regiment, and his girlfriend, Samantha Johnson, were eating at the food court at the mall. They said they were approached by a security guard who said removing their masks and eating in the food court was not permitted under COVID-19 restrictions. I'm not sure how you're going to eat if you don't remove your mask. Both Walker and Johnson feel they were targeted. Uh, Walker's black. I'm going to disagree. I think they were targeted because they were eating in the food court. While they said they collected their food, cleaned up their garbage, and left, they said a white man in wheelchair nearby gave the security guard attitude. Okay, I don't know the relevance of that. Walker and Johnson were told to leave them all, and three security guards accompanied them from behind. We saw that. Johnson said the guards allowed them to walk through the mall rather than having to leave through the closest exit after she told them she is 18 weeks pregnant. All right. As they are, oh, they're, they're, so, they're so gentle over there. They're so generous. Uh, as they are walking on the first, as they are walking on the first floor of the mall toward an exit, Walker is recording incident on his phone. We saw that. Laughing and making fun of the security guards by calling them the three effing stooges here. That's true. I hope, I hope the poor muffins are okay. I hope they're okay from being called the three stooges. You guys okay? Maybe we should start a crowdfund for them. Moments later, I love this passive language, there is an altercation with the guards. When Rock, Walker repeatedly saying, don't put your hands on me, there is an altercation. That's like say, the phrase, mistakes were made. 
<laughs> An altercation. What does that mean? Did Walker punch anybody? No, I don't think he did. We saw from two angles. In fact, we sort of know what's going on because Walker was repeatedly saying, don't put your hands on me. Pretty sure that means someone was putting their hands on him. A guard tells him he's under arrest for trespassing and security guards tackle him to the ground. After Walker drops his phone, Johnson continues recording. We know all that. According to Simmons, a security guard initially approached the two eating against COVID-19 restrictions in the food court. While one group complied, she said Walker's group was belligerent. The security guard called for backup from other security guards and York Regional Police were called, she said. Our priorities is blah, 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 blah. At the time of this event, our guard approached two groups, blah, blah, blah. She referred questions to police. Who cares? Uh, who cares about those rules? Because that's not what we're here to talk about today. We can talk about how stupid the rules are. Uh, that you Were they supposed to have their mask on when eating in the food court? Were they supposed to not? Um, were they really, really mean? Um, imagine if you set up a security guard company and the name of your company was Sensitive Security Guards. We have the most emotionally available security guards in the business. Um, they really emote and they are very empathetic. So please don't say things about them like call them Larry, Curly, and Moe. And definitely don't use the F word because they haven't heard that word before and they'll be shocked by it and they might cry. So word to the wise, don't set up sensitive security guards, Inc., because you're going to have problems. So what exactly did they do wrong? Well, I'll tell you what they did wrong. Um, they were on private property when they were asked to leave. I think that's the one thing we can agree on. Whether or not they did something in the food court, it's actually not relevant. Let's say they broke the food court rules. He doesn't look like an anti-masker, and neither does his girlfriend. They were both wearing masks when they were being frog marched out of there. If I was being marched out of a place, um, I, I would not comply with the mask rule on my way out if it was a mask issue. It obviously wasn't a mask issue. They were actually wearing the masks as they were leaving. There was some other issue. And it actually doesn't matter right now because under the Trespass to Property Act, um, the owner of a property, and a mall is private property, it's the public is invited to come in. But once the landlord or his agent says, get out, you do have to comply in a reasonable manner. You don't have to sprint out. You have to leave. And if you don't comply, the landlord does have the power and the right to use reasonable force to eject you. And that's important <clears throat> because I say this. There are circumstances where security guards could literally pick up a guy and throw him out. Those would be if there was danger or violence or anything else that a court would say, yeah, that's reasonable. If someone handcuffed themselves to the food court, no, I'm going to finish my sandwich. It would be reasonable to cut that off and pull him out. But if he was walking with his pregnant wife at a fair clip, he is complying with the Trespass to Property Act, especially since you invited him on there in the first place. He didn't break in in the dead of night. He didn't sneak in. He walked in through a door that said, welcome. And it sounds like he spent some money there. So you invite a guy into your private property. You invite him in. He accepts your invitation. He spends money with you. Buy some food in the food court or whatever. You don't like the fact that he's not wearing a mask in the food court. Or maybe he's not supposed to eat in the food court or whatever. The rules change every week. So you say, get out. Okay. Um, maybe you're wrong about that. Maybe you're violating his rights in some way. Let's put that aside. Let's just assume that your eviction of him is legal. And I believe, by the way, that property owners should be able to kick people out. Now, we, we don't let people, kick, let people kick, uh, get kicked out for illegal reasons like racism. You're black. No blacks allowed. Get out. That's illegal. You're in a wheelchair. No disabled people. Get out. That's illegal. And that's actually the analog. Um, it, people who are exempt from wearing masks, there are medical exemptions. You can no more kick someone out of your mall for not wearing a mask if they're medically exempt than you can kick someone out of your mall because they're in a wheelchair. And you can no more demand that they prove, prove you have to be in that wheelchair. I think you can stand up, prove it. No, you can't do that with a wheelchair and you can't do that with a mask. 
But it sounds like there was just some disagreement over masks in the food court. Put that aside. A man and his pregnant girlfriend were walking out of the mall at a reasonable pace. They acknowledged they knew she was pregnant. So that, it was a reasonable pace they were walking in any event. The fact that she was pregnant means it's extra reasonable. The fact that they were walking out with the masks on show they were very, very reasonable. The fact that he was taking a selfie video and calling them the effing Three Stooges, yeah, well, so what? There's no law against swearing. I checked. Um, <clears throat> by what right can they put their hands on him? They can eject someone who is not leaving. They have that right, but he was leaving. So I would argue that was an assault by them against him. But that's not the problem, was it? The problem was, he said, don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. So he didn't punch them or stop walking, did he? He just insisted, don't put your hands on me. And I think he was right, because he was leaving with his pregnant wife at a reasonable clip, walking to the exit. So simply saying, don't put your hands on me, is not a problem. I think the hands being put on him may be a problem. I don't think they were hurting him. I think that he was just insisting on his rights. You can't touch strangers. That's called assault. He says, don't put your hands on me, don't put your hands on me, don't put your hands on me. And then you hear a security guard saying, you're under arrest. And then, bam! They drop him to the floor. Why? Did he do something? No, he didn't. Not that we have any evidence of. You saw the video, the selfie video. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. Don't put your hands on me. That's not an offense. That's not breaching the Trespass Act. That's not breaching any law at all. There's no law saying you can't tell someone not to put their hands on you. In fact, it's sort of the other way around. So why did they pound him to the floor like that? And I note, did you see him resisting? Did you see him punching? Did you see him punching them back in either this video or the other? Look at that. She's got her mask on. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. There's four of them. They're slamming him. They're slamming him. Do you see him punching them? No, he's not punching them. He's trying to avoid his face being smashed into the floor. Well, they got four guys on him now, three guys in blue and then the guy in yellow without a mask, I should point out. What did he do wrong again? What did he do wrong? Do you see him punching them? I do not. <clears throat> I do not see them, him punching them. In fact, two more times, they say, get off me, or, or don't put your hands on me, and then get off me, get off me, get off me. I was taking notes. And then his girlfriend says, we were leaving. And the security said right there, you were not leaving. You liar, you lying liar. We saw they were leaving. Don't lie on TV. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show that I do live at 12 noon Eastern time. We talk about the news of the day. We play interesting viral videos. And most importantly, I take your questions that you chat to me through YouTube Super Chat. I think that's the funnest part of it. So tune in every weekday at 12 noon Eastern time, only here.